Yes, good morning, children. In last class, we learned about the conservation of environment. In that, we learned the different types of pollution, how to prevent the pollution, how to conserve the environment. In today's lesson, we are going to start a new lesson called Indian Heritage. What what is meaning of this Indian Heritage? You all know that Indian. When Indian comes, you can just say that we are just talking about our country, India. And let us know the meaning of heritage. What is the meaning of the heritage? The meaning of heritage. First, let's know the meaning of heritage. Heritage is nothing but the ancestors. Ancestors are nothing but uh in another num generation in the num Indian generation generally in the there are people who have been before us are called as ancestors and see here uh, the ancestors are nothing but the people from the people who are passing from one generation to another is called as heritage see uh, since from generation to generation there are so many changes so you all know that the first man was the first was the apes so the Apes are our ancestors of apes are the main or the first ancestors of human beings. So what happens? These apes are transmitted to humans, uh, with, which they are known as early man. So this early man started to develop slowly from generation to generation. So in the same way, what happens here in this lesson, we are going to learn is about the heritage. Heritage is nothing but we can see some history, like an heritage is nothing but the tradition, history or the cultural of our country from one generation to another generation is called as heritage. Heritage, I am just defining you about the meaning of heritage or the definition of heritage. Heritage is nothing but the history monuments, paintings, from one generation to another generation. So the history, the, the history monuments, paintings from one generation to Another generation or the cultural or the traditions of country country is called as heritage. So now we just came to know the meaning of heritage. Heritage is nothing but or heritage is defined as the history, monuments, paintings cultural traditions of country from one generation to another generation is called as heritage. So now in this generation uh, means in this heritage we can see the two types of heritage. There are two ways heritage. Heritage is divided into two. One is natural heritage and the other one is material heritage. What do you mean by natural? Natural heritage is nothing but the heritage which defines the nature or the scenery, the scenery of nature is called as natural heritage. And the second one is the material heritage. So today in this class, we are going to discuss about only the material heritage, not the natural heritage. So before going to this lesson, let, uh, before going to this lesson, let us know what is, what is the meaning of material heritage. Material heritage. So children, before doing this lesson once, I'm just going to the textbook. Please all open your textbooks and go to once so that you can read easier. Lesson number 12, Indian heritage. Under that, we are going to learn is about the material heritage. In 
earlier classes we have already read about indians rich cultural heritage our ancestors have also left behind a rich and varied material heritage this includes uncountable buildings tombs forts palaces monuments minars temples mosques churches and gurudwaras in our country and each of them has a story to narrate they make us proud it is amazing to learn about the people who built them the purpose for which they were built the construction materials used and the years taken to build them it is not possible to discuss all the monuments since there are so many let us read about some of the most famous monuments of india so in this class we are going to discuss about us about the material heritage so what do you mean by this material heritage material heritage is nothing but our ancestors ancestors means the old age people before our generations who were there no such people are called as ancestors okay children grandfather big grandfather for that big grandfather the generation which has goes on the people who goes on by generation and generation are called as ancestors so what happens in the earlier classes we have learned some of the monuments like right? uh, some indian uh, cultural heritage so here in this class means in class 5th also we are going to learn some of the cultural heritage so what happens our ancestors have has left out many varied material heritage here the material heri heritage can be the monuments minars churches temples gurudwars gurudwara or the mosques so there are different types of buildings either it can be the buildings big buildings big buildings monuments minar churches mosques church mosques gurudwaras temples and even some of the forts tombs palaces so these are the many things which are found under the material heritage and for each monument or for each monument or minars or church for each buildings or the big buildings forts stones and palaces we have some history why they built who built it which king built it why did he build what was the reason to build and how many years did it took to build the type of material heritage like monuments minars churches temples gurudwars mosques built buildings forts tombs and palaces so by we can just read in detail why did they build this there is some history behind this who built this which king built this why did he build this what was the reason to build this and how many years they took to build this monuments or in which type of material was used to build this monuments so when we come to know about all this then such heritage is known as the material heritage so in this lesson uh, in this lesson we can learn or read many more monuments so since they have given only the few famous monuments which are found in india among that we are going to learn the first monument or the famous monument which we are going to learn today for today is the first monument is the taj mahal so i think all of you have seen taj mahal so in this lesson among cultural heritage the first monument which we are going to learn is about the taj mahal 
So you all know that where is Taj Mahal situated? Where is Taj Mahal situated? Taj Mahal is situated in our capital, New Delhi, on the banks of on the banks of river Yamuna. So where it is situated? Where is this Taj Mahal uh, situated? The Taj Mahal is situated on the banks of river Yamuna in New Delhi of India. Okay. So now you came to know where is Taj Mahal situated and in which place it is situated. So we can just say this, the Taj Mahal is one among the it is among the seven wonders of the world. It is the one of the seven wonders of the world. So you all know that the seven wonders of the world. Among seven wonders of the world, among this, Taj Mahal is the one seven wonder of the world. World and right? the whole universe, Taj Mahal is the beautiful place. And here we can see that uh, Taj Mahal was built by whom? It was built by Mughal Emperor. So with, who built this Taj Mahal? There was a Mughal Emperor called Shah Jahan. What was his name? His name was Shah Jahan. So Shah Jahan is the ruler of Mughal dynasty or he was an Mughal emperor called Shah Jahan. Shah Jahan built this Taj Mahal. Why did he build? Why did he build Taj Mahal? Because, why did he build Taj Mahal? Because in the memory of love, In the memory of love towards his wife. So he wanted to show his love to he wanted to show his love towards his wife. What was the name of Shah Jahan's wife? Shah Jahan's wife's name was Mumtaz. Mumtaz Begum. So she Mumtaz Begum was a wife of Shah Jahan when she was due to some due to some reason she died. So in the memory of her love, what happened? Shah Jahan built the Taj Mahal. And, and the Taj Mahal was built in the year. When what is when was it built? It was built in the year 1620. Six. So when it was built, it was built in the year 1626 CE. Okay. And how many years it took to complete it? How many years or how much years it wanted to complete? It took, it was completed in the year 1648. So now let us see how many years it took to complete it. Let us see children. 1648 minus 1626. 8 minus 6 is 2. 4 minus 2 is 2. So how many years it took to complete? It took to complete 22 years. How many years did it take to complete? It took 22 years to complete. So once more I am just recapping you Taj Mahal. So Taj Mahal is one of the most seven among seven wonders of the world. Taj Mahal is one among them. Taj Mahal is situated in New Delhi of India and it is on the banks of river Yamuna. So Taj Mahal, uh, who built the Taj Mahal? Taj Mahal was built by Mughal emperor called Shah Jahan. Why did Shah Jahan build it? Because in the memory of love towards his wife Mumtaz Begum, 
Taj Mahal was built by Mughal Emperor Shah Jahan in the love of Mumtaz Begum. When was it built? When it was started to build? It was started in the year sixteen twenty six CE. But when it got complete over, it just took to complete. It just fully completed in the year sixteen forty eight CE, and it just took twenty two years to complete the complete to make the Taj Mahal. Now let us see what were the materials used to build Taj Mahal. So the materials which are used here, the so materials which are used to build Taj Mahal was the white marble. Which material was used to build the Taj Mahal? It was a white marble. So you all can see in your books. The Taj Mahal is white in color. Why it is white in color? Because here the Taj Mahal is fully built with white marble. And how it is built? In which style? In which style it is built? It is just built in the form of Persian, Turkish, and Indian architecture. Children pay. So, children, in which style is this uh, Taj Mahal built? So, you can just see the Taj Mahal is somewhat. It is a type of mosque, right? So, how it is built? How was this Taj Mahal built? It is built in the style of Persian. Persian is nothing but it is a country called Persia. So, in the in the name of uh, in the style of Persian, Turkish, and Indian architecture, based on on this stylish, the Taj Mahal was built. And you can just see here yeah, Taj Mahal. You can just see the four pillars. One, two, three, four. You can just see this four tombs, or it is also called as Four minarets. Mina, minarets. Minarets is nothing but it is somewhat called tombs. So you can just see now if this is Taj Mahal. Now this is Taj Mahal. You can just see some of the tombs over here. There are some of the four tombs, which is called as minarets. Four minarets. And why is this minarets are here? Why is just over here? So when we there are four minarets and one minaret, one minaret means the one minaret measures the height, the height of height of one minaret measures. Forty meter tall. So when we compare this minaret or the tomb, the measurement of this tomb or minaret measures approximately forty meters tall. And this was completed. At uh, the time taken to finish Taj Mahal was twenty years. And this was the finest. Example for Mughal architecture. So I told you Mughal Emperor Shah Jahan. So now the Shah Jahan built this Taj Mahal, and he was one of he was one among the famous ruler of Mughal dynasty. So he was a famous ruler of Mughal. Dynasty, and this was the finest architecture among the Mughal dynasty. So this is about the Taj Mahal, which we learned in detail. And Taj Mahal is situated in Agra. Where it is situated? It is situated in 
agra so i just read out once just listen properly children the taj mahal agra the taj mahal is most famous of all monuments in india one of the seven wonders of the world this beautiful building is actually a mausoleum or tomb which was built by mughal emperor shah jahan in the memory of his wife mumtaz mahal it is made of white marble and it is it is perfectly symmetrical it took thousands of workmen over 20 years to complete the building it is the finest example of mughal architecture so actually symmetrical is nothing but you can just see the shape of that taj mahal which is in perfect shape and even we can we cannot find a single mistake over that so that is called as symmetrical and how many men were uh, used to construct, construct this taj mahal there were thousands of men who took the marble by pulling with the ropes they just built the taj mahal so this is about the taj mahal which we learned in this class so the next one is the qutub minar so the next one we are going to learn is about the the next one is about the qutub minar so before explaining about you this i just read out once qutub minar delhi Qutub Minar is seventy-two meters high, brick and stone minaret. is the tallest brick minaret in the world. It is located in Merauli area of Delhi. Qutbuddin Aibak, founder of the Delhi Sultanate, started the construction of Qutub Minar in twelve twenty C, and it was completed by his successors. There is a seven meter high iron pillar near the Qutub Minar. It was built by the Gupta rulers. This pillar tells about the height of level, high level of skill achieved by ancient Indian iron smiths, as it is rust free even after one thousand six hundred years ago. So, children, the next monument. which we are learning is about the qutub minar so qutub minar where is qutub minar is located it is located in again it is located in delhi and what is the height of this qutub minar the the height of the qutub minar is 70 meter 72 meters high what is the height of qutub minar the height of the qutub minar is about 72 meters high and the materials which are used for this qutub minar what is the materials which are used which were used to build qutub minar were brick and stone so you can just see in your book so you can just see your book so you can just see uh, the qutub minar is fully built with the sand stones and the bricks so it was built by with the help of stones and bricks the color of the qutub minar you can just see somewhat black and red color which is built by stones and bricks and this is the tallest minaret in the world it is the tallest minaret in the world so you can not see in the world you cannot see the the much tallest minaret so the qutub minar is defined or uh, recognized as the tallest minaret in the world which monument is 
referred as the tallest minaret in the world qutub minar is the tallest minaret in the world and where it is located in which place it is located in new delhi it is located in merauli so where it is located it is located in the area called merauli area of delhi of okay, children and by whom it was built by whom was qutub minar built so there is a king called who was the founder of delhi sultanate or slave dynasty slave dynasty is also known as delhi sultanate or delhi sultanate is also called as slave dynasty among slave dynasty or delhi sultanate there was a king called qutubuddin aibak so there was a famous ruler or emperor during the delhi sultanate or slave dynasty who was a famous ruler or the emperor of this delhi sultanate or slave dynasty and the famous emperor was qutubuddin aibak you have to spell qut bu din qutubuddin aibak qutubuddin aibak so he was a famous emperor who was founded in delhi sultanate or slave dynasty and he was a person who built this qutub minar and when it was started it was started in the year when was it started it was started in the year 1199 c so in, in which year was qutub uh, qutub uh, minar uh, started it was started in the 1199 c and when it was got completed it was got completed in the year 1220 ce when it was started it was started in the 1199 ce and it got finished in the year 1220 ce so how many years did it take to complete it just took 30 years to complete how many years did qutub minar took to complete it just took 30 years to complete so it was started in the year 1199 c and got completed in the year 1220 c where by calculating this we can just come to know that the qutub minar was taken 30 years to complete and uh, after uh, qutubuddin started this qutub minar uh, due to his illness he just Ex, uh, he just passed away. After uh, he passed away, his successors, means his son, grandson, took this uh, plan and they completed successfully. They just built the Qutub Minar finally, and they just created this monument. And this was, and uh, finally it was got finished by. so this qutub minar was finally finished by gupta rulers gupta rulers what do you mean by gupta rulers gupta is nothing but it is a dynasty place it is a name of the dynasty called guptas so by the king god the emperors of gupta they got finished the qutub minar and even we can just know that this pillar tells us something about the high level of skill achieved by ancient indian iron smith as a trust free even after 1600 years ago so what year we can just come to know that uh, what happens year we can just see some of the skilled engineers or the iron smiths so we can just come to know What do you mean by iron smiths, children? 
What do you mean by iron smith? So here we can just say that the skill is achieved by the skill is achieved by iron smiths. What do you mean by iron smiths? Iron smiths are nothing but the people who work kabnat kelsa martare. Iron smiths are nothing but the people who works with iron and steel. Or kabnat kelsa martare, we call them as iron smiths. So here there are some of the skill achieved Indian iron smiths who built this Qutub Minar. So at the top of the uh, at the top of this at the top of this Qutub Minar, we can just see a iron pillar. So at the top of this, we can just see some iron pillar which is built by the skill achieved Indian iron smiths, which is not even rusted now also. It is a rust free what is this rust the meaning of rust when we say rust we can just come to know that by chemically we can just say that it is a hydrated ferric oxide or the hydrated iron iron oxide means uh, when now uh, see you all have seen some of the iron materials things na so, again, I will tell you that the people who are living in the world are living in the world. The iron or steel chest turns into brown color. The bronze or brown color. The iron or steel chest turns into brown color. The brown, the thing which is uh, turned into brown color is called as rust. So, the brown color, the changing of brown color is called as rust. But after, even after, 1600 years happened. 1600 years ago, iron pillar took it. It was just rust free. It was from rust free. So, this was the main or the famous thing which we can say that even now also the iron pillar is not rusted. Even now. So, it is a Rust, free rust monument. So this is about the thing which we learned today. So we just learned about the meaning of heritage. Under heritage, we learned the two types of heritage. That is the natural heritage and the cultural heritage. Natural heritage is related to the heritage of nature. And cultural heritage is nothing but which we have learned about the monuments, tombs, mosques, churches, etc. Among the monuments we just learned about the two monuments that is the Taj Mahal and Qutub 